One of the most successful senior business communication executives and angel investors of our time, Mark Thompson has been a board member and advisor to Fortune 500 and Global 1000 companies and is a New York Times best-selling business author. He is Charles Schwab's former Chief Customer Experience Officer, Chief Communications Officer, and Chief of Staff, reporting directly to the founder, Charles Chuck Schwab himself, starting in 1987. During his tenure, the company's customer assets grew tenfold to more than $800 billion in over 5 million client accounts. And the company continued to grow right through the greatest economic storms in history. Some speakers talk about change and growth, but have no hands-on experience. Thompson has made change happen at great companies. He's been an operating executive with a front row seat on transformations at Charles Schwab and Apple's top iPhone and iPad app companies. The last five years are not going to be like the next five years. The old world, the way it used to exist, isn't going to be the same. There's a lot more competitors who are going to assure that. And the race looks something like this in all the different industries that we've studied and that we invest in. He was a member of the Board of Directors and Audit Committee of Best Buy Enterprises and Corn Ferry. Celebrating the victories. Celebrating victory. So something about goals there and winning and making it happen, but also taking the time to celebrate. Thompson is chairman of the American Express Leadership Series for Peter Drucker's Leader to Leader Institute. What's interesting about your industry is nobody's safe yet. There's nobody who has it locked up. Everybody has something that's vulnerable. Everybody has an area that they need to work on. And that provides a great opportunity. What was amazing in 27 industries, each organization, after having doubled once and doubled again, set on a path to yet again double. When I saw this, I kind of wondered, is it really necessary to continue to push like that? What's wrong with being stable for a while? Just absorbing this and digesting all of this. And what I learned from the evidence is, ends up being kind of dangerous thinking. Because what we saw was that organizations out of the 10,000 that decided to be stable without setting those stretch goals, in three years, they were lower on the scale in the top 10. Within five years, they were struggling to be in the top 10, and in 20 years, they were gone. You grow or die. It is about growing. And it's not because of our own ego. It's not just because of our own ambitions. It's because our customers are facing the same circumstances. They want to grow. And there's competitors, if it's an attractive business with increasing margins like yours, there's always competitors that are waiting to throw resources and capital at it. And that's certainly something. One of the world authorities on management and leadership, the American Management Association published Mark Thompson's second best-selling book. It's called Now Build a Great Business, which is a New York Times bestseller, focusing on how to grow your business in this volatile market environment. If you've had any setback, if you've had any difficulties, if you've had any challenges, you are never worthless. You're never worthless. You can always be used as a bad example for other people. <laughs> Have any one of you ever in this room had the experience where you were beaten down and you just absolutely had to get up and keep driving on? Have you ever had that experience? <laughs> Before every keynote presentation, Mark Thompson and his Stanford team will reach out to interview your customers and managers to make sure the keynote is right on target for your audience. Many of you said that you wanted me to talk about the top performing companies in your industry, the, the research we've done on those industries, but also a number of you said that you'd like me to talk a little more personally about my time on the board of Best Buy the world's largest consumer electronics company, as well as my work on the board of Apple Computers, top applications companies, Smule, as well as the work we're doing with Peter Drucker's Leadership Institute and the transformations we've seen, the, the enormous change and engagement we've seen from sales forces and service people at Nokia, Nike, and American Express. Thompson co-authored the international bestseller, Success Built to Last, the sequel to Jim Collins and Jerry Porras' classic, Built to Last and Good to Great. By focusing on five levels of leadership, Thompson coaches leaders on how to get things done fast. According to Sir Richard Branson of Virgin Brands, Success Built to Last provides a meaningful secret formula for success. Here's the deal, people who are passionate run further, they do more, the research is clear about this. They execute better, they're better at getting things done, they're more creative, they get 
twice as much done, they get paid more, but they're worth more. Did you know that they have less sick days? <laughs> they're more effective, they even live longer. For every person who's half-hearted in what they do, there's 200 other guys like you who want that business. It's just as important as everything else. He said, people come to me, get, get, a, get a picture of Warren Buffett, deep lines in his face, you know, looks kind of intimidating, gray hair, he looks kind of menacing, although he's kind of a teddy bear. He says, Mark, people coming every day, putting off their passions. I'm going to do it in the next gig. I'm not going to do it now. That's like putting off sex for old age. That's a really bad idea. Mark Thompson's expertise has clients demanding keynotes on three essential topics for success in business today. Making change happen. How world-class teams lead change faster. Thompson will tell you how world-class companies make change happen right. Making sales happen. How to achieve level five sales growth and business performance that grows from good to great. Learn how Ford Motor Company CEO Alan Mulally is turning around sales at a company that is an American icon. Now, build a great business. How to make sure that your customer service is built to last. Thompson will show you how Tony Shea mastered customer service and how Michael Dell's company is bouncing back to market share leadership. What our research showed is that there are eight fundamental factors that the top performing companies apply. The first key issue is about becoming a great leader. As the individual managers in your business units become great leaders, they have to ask themselves this key question. Do you know what your people really value? What is really valuable to them that motivates them and fully engages them in the work? How do you surround yourself with the very best people and get collaboration that is world class? How do you offer the best possible service? How do you innovate and how do you exceed expectations of the customer? Because as we all know, exceeding customer expectations is the holy grail. How do you perfect a sales process that's second to none so that you boost growth in every segment of your market? Finally, how do we create a great customer experience? Because none of this works unless the customer experience is extraordinary. Get it done. We heard about that this morning. Does Clovis get things done? Do you get it done? Absolutely you do. Forbes magazine named Thompson one of the top 100 venture investors with the Midas Touch. And he is currently an investor in companies like Facebook and Apple Computer's number one app provider for the iPhone and iPad. ABC News calls Mark Thompson the best business author, corporate advisor, and leadership guru to inspire leaders. Tony Robbins says Thompson will inspire you to greater business results with your heart and your head. Visa International says Mark Thompson's inspiring message is just what your leadership team needs. His keynotes solve business problems and hit the bullseye for your organization. The race ends faster. It is now or never. I love the theme of your meeting today. Your time is now. This is your time. Congratulations. You did a great job. Congratulations. And thank you very much for the opportunity to be here.